I am the District 4 Councilman Ron Bowen, and we are continuing to talk about arts and culture here in Port St. Lucie and in St. Lucie County. And with me today are two artists, local artists, Anita Prentice and Holly Toons. And again, we were talking previously about art and culture in the community, and we have some additional points to point out today. We want to tell you 10 reasons to support the arts. And I said earlier that arts generate 166 billion in economic activity annually every year that's billion with a b and investment in the arts supports jobs generates tax revenues and advances our creativity based economy it's important stuff and arts are good for the local merchants the typical art attendee spends thirty dollars per person per event when they when they come to go to a, an art event, not including admission to that event. The non-local attendee spends forty dollars per person when they come to go to an event. That's revenue for local businesses and the community. Someone's putting gas in their car. They're going out to a restaurant. They're hiring a babysitter. Maybe they bought a new pair of shoes at the shoe store. All of those things contribute to our economy in one way or another. You know, I don't use the word envious or jealous uh, too often, but I've read about the uh, art festivals they have in Delray Beach mm -hmm. and other communities, or even just the chalk, you know, the chalk on the sidewalk type of uh, show is, uh, is, is, is fascinating to me, number one. And number two, how do we get that kind of energy up here where we can have kind of rival their art shows. Well, we need help because, you know, there have been chalk um, demonstrations, North County. There have been a lot of um, art festivals. So why we're here is to let you all know that you need to be involved because this is important stuff. Arts are the cornerstone of tourism. People can go to the beach, but they can only be suntanned so much. Art travelers are the ideal tourists. They stay longer and they spend more. The U.S. Department of Commerce reports that the percentage of international travelers, including arts and culture events during their stay has increased annually in the last six years. So all any of those festivals you're talking about, those things keep happening. People are gonna keep coming here because they wanna experience that creativity and culture. We've got beautiful beaches, but it's good to go do a little festival here and there in between the beaches and the picnics. Not true, oh, and not the, true. the creative industries provide jobs. Look at the theater, look at the Pineapple Playhouse, look at the Sunrise Theater, all of the people who are involved behind the scenes, doing the marketing, working with the radio stations on the advertising, putting up the, the, the next play bill up on the, on the, the board. The people who have, and the museums who are repainting the walls after the show, who are steam cleaning the carpets, all of these jobs are part of the creative industry. I'd love to see us develop a film industry and attract people to film movies here in St. Lucie County. I heard that there's going to be a Bacchus film created, and it's not being filmed here in St. Lucie County where Bacchus was spent most of his life it's being filmed in georgia because the economic environment for filming was better the, the attraction was more financially be beneficial to and take I, that movie I, that to georgia kind of blows me away yeah and it's really a stumbling does. block but that's why we're here we can overcome that by working together because we're not here just to say oh we did this we did this wrong what we're doing is opening trying to help open the eyes and there's a lot of people we need we need more people to help us as opposed to gosh you did a good job I'm not trying to be mean here but you know I just think if more people would realize how many people it takes to do all that it's a lot um, and I'm going to talk about arts in the schools arts in the schools equal better SAT scores proven fact Students with four years of arts and music in high school average 100 points better on their SAT scores than students with one half a year. That, that it, it helps improve their academic uh, performance. That They did a, a, some data from 25,000 students. 
It demonstrates that students with an education rich in the arts have higher GPAs, standardized test scores, lower dropout rates, and even better attitudes about community service. Because isn't that what we want? We want our children to be able to do community, to not to involve themselves in community service, because that is, you you know, that's the cornerstone. That's what you do. You're in community service. That's what we do. We're in community service. And we want our children being excited about being involved in the creativity of many different things. Well, and it also helps get jobs. If you have an arts background, you're part of the 21st century workforce. A report by the conference board shows creativity is among the top applied skills sought by employers. 72% of business leaders say creativity is of high importance when hiring. The biggest creative creativity indicator, a college arts degree. The arts, music, creative writing, drawing, dance provide skills sought by employers of the third millennium. As an artist, you learn problem solving. You learn teamwork. Those kind of skills are incredibly beneficial when you go out into the work world. Problem Test solving. Test taking, is maybe not so much, but problem solving is very important. Why is, the, why is a certain glue better than another glue for a project? You know, all of these things are problem solving, and that, that regenerates the brain to be able to do a lot of things. Well, and it's math, it's science, it's physics. Art, art is so involved in many, many of the sciences and, and the other arts. One thing that I've noticed here in the last couple of weeks uh, in St. Lucie County is uh, I've been to a couple of functions uh, of uh, uh, coffees and whatever where people are watching artists paint. Yes. While they're eating, that's become a Russian big brew. thing. Holly's been in charge of that for quite a while. Where you can get a Russian brew. Talk, Russian tell me brew. About that Russian brew is a fabulous project that that Art Mundo does. It's an opportunity for anybody, no experience necessary, to come on a Tuesday night to the Sailfish Brewery, for example, and sit down at the table with a professional artist to lead you through it. Six people sit down. We provide the paint, the brushes, the. Uh, smock and an instructor takes you through painting a picture and at the end of the two hours everybody stands up and we take a picture and everyone has created something different they had the same instructor they had the same materials they had the same everything to start with and everyone's creative process created a different end result and artists these these people are not artists normally they're secretaries, they're teachers, they're moms, they're what? But when they pick up that piece of artwork, their self-esteem is lifted up. It's amazing. Yeah, you hear you hear people say, "I don't have a creative bone in my body." We help you find the. We bone. don't believe that. That yeah. is not true. Everybody has a creative bone in their body. You just haven't found it yet. How does the community get? How does the people that have been exposed to the arts before get involved? with the arts here in St. Lucie County or in Port St. Lucie. I, I, meaning people, again, have come from uh, different areas of the country and been exposed to art and culture. Maybe they were in a different art club up north. How do they get hooked in down here, Holly? Well, what I'd like to ask people to do is is to contact me at Artmundo at artmundo at artmundo.org. Drop me an email with your name and your email address and your questions or information that you're willing to participate or bring to the table, experience you may have had or things, you, ideas you, you tried in other communities that you want to try here. Let's get a dialogue going. Let's get everybody together. Let's start a, a, a conglomeration of all of the, the people who are interested. Let's work together and let's start trying to make some changes. Let's not be the hole in the middle between our successful sister counties in the arts anymore. St. Lucie County can be an arts destination. It'd be, it'd be great if this, from this this uh, TV20 segment, if we could get two or 300 people Absolutely. Uh, involved. Let's get a dialogue going. It, it, it takes a village. If we all work together and think outside the box, we have an opportunity. We have a blank slate. You know, we, we have every opportunity. We have a great community. We have interested legislatures and people in the government all over the county, all over in both of the, the cities. We have a lot of artists. What we need to do is get linked up together, all of the artists together, all of the different mediums, and let's, let's make this happen. 
uh, again, uh, Holly Toons, thank you so much as your executive director for Art Mundo. And Anita Prentice, uh, artist, local artist, congratulations. You've done a 150, 150 concrete, feet concrete 150 mosaic. Bench. And I'm uh, working on eight more, as not as we speak, but I did work this morning before we came down for here. The veterans, for the Veterans, veterans Park. For the Veterans Memorial Park. Uh, I saw one of your, your creations on Fort St. Lucie Boulevard this morning. Oh, you know, nice. Even with the... Uh, you know, the bench was there, and uh, that, that was uh, you know, your signature thankful. statement. So, Very congratulations thankful. on your success with the, with the, your mosaic program. Holly, congratulations on, on what you're doing for the art community. And uh, again, email, uh, phone numbers, one more time. Okay, the, the website, the excuse me, the email for Art Mundo is artmundo at artmundo.org. And um, start out your message from, hey, Holly. And uh, I'll start a list of everyone who's interested, and we'll start communicating and sharing information with the community. And we'll be right back after these important messages. 